Hi there, how are you doing? It's Ivan here from carolineivanair.com and in this video I want to look at how to create simple banners and headers using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now you can of course outsource but I prefer to do these things at, at least once so that I know what's involved before I ask someone else to do it. Now I'm using the 2010 version, the 2010 version of PowerPoint, so if you have an earlier version, or, or indeed when you come to watch this, a later version, yours may look a little different. Earlier versions may also not have all the features I use in this video, and I shall try to make a, a supplementary video showing you workarounds using free tools. Now if we are to make a banner, the first thing we must do is ensure that we're making it the correct size particularly if it's an advertising banner uh, to be used on a site other than our own. Now I've listed here um, different banner sizes, the, the most popular banner sizes used and I'll um, just read them down for you while you jot them down. And these are all by the way in pixels, numbers of pixels. So we have 468 by 60, 728 by 90, 120 by 600, 160 by 600, 300 by 250, and a tiny one which is 125 by 125. I'll leave that up for a few seconds so you can jot that down. What I have uh, omitted from that list, of course, are if you you can also use these methods that I'm showing you to make Facebook avatars. And if you're doing that uh, for your Facebook page. Uh, you'll want dimensions of 180 by 540. That's 180 by 540. But uh, all the methods that I'm going to show you today can be used whatever size you're, you're doing it. Um, so we've got on the screen now a new PowerPoint presentation. And it's around about now that we hit the first hurdle. Because we obviously want to resize this to the size of the banner that we're going to be creating. And if we go into the Design tab, and hit page setup you'll see we hit the first hurdle because we we're wanting to talk in pixels and of course PowerPoint measures everything in in centimeters now there are um, conversion tools around but I, I prefer to use my own rather simplistic method perhaps some might argue um, whereby I simply take the number of pixels and divide it by 10 so Let's take, for example, uh, the banner size 728 by 90. If I were to be building a, a banner that's 728 by 90, to make sure that I get it in the right proportions, I would enter 72.8 by 9. So I've divided the number of pixels by 10. And you'll see that gives us the right dimensions, if you like, or right ratio uh, of the dimensions. Uh, it's obviously far too large at the moment, but uh, we can remedy that later. So I want to get rid of these areas here, so I'm just going to get rid of those two. Now what we do next rather depends on how we want the background of our banner to look. As you can see here, we're in the design page and PowerPoint comes with any number of preloaded themes, uh, as you can see here. Um, we can choose any of these themes or indeed pick background styles and you can see it changing as I hover over them. Uh, now I don't intend to go through all of these. Uh, you can format the background as well, change the colors and so on and so forth. There are all sorts of any number of uh, uh, variants that you can apply. I don't intend to go through these. I'll leave you to play with that to your heart's content till you come up with a, a look that you uh, that you're happy with. But I tend, I'm afraid, to stick with plain old white. Uh, but uh, as I say, I'll leave that entirely up to you. Now, if you prefer geometric shapes, though, if you would say you want the top half one color and the lower half another, you do that by going over to insert sh the Insert tab and then select Insert Shapes. And you'll see here you choose the rectangle and we go um, sort of to yeah, that's about halfway there and we'd simply fill we'd click the format tool then 
and we've got shape fill and we can choose a color of our liking and we you'll see here I don't know if you can see that the shape is actually outlined in the original blue color so be sure if you don't want that outline to click on the shape outline uh, tab as well and if you wanted another color below what you would then do is go back to the insert tab again hit uh, shapes and draw another rectangle directly below and same process you would color that in the format menu and we choose a, a contrasting color there probably not sure uh, that's the color we'd really choose if we were doing this for real but uh, but then you have a background to work on that's different colors so that might fit with the color theme of, of the site that you're choosing or whatever um, but we'll um, I think stick with the white and um, we'll, we'll build from there so the first thing we want to do is to add our text but rather than it being just plain we want it to catch the eye without without of course it being over the top so first uh, we click insert and then we'll select text box and then with the tool we'll draw where we want our text to apply appear and it's here that we will type in uh, the compelling headline right having done that we need to obviously resize that uh, let's center it first then we'll resize it so that it's uh, in keeping with the proportions now the copy itself may well be compelling um, and yours will certainly be more compelling than this but we might want to give it a bit of hand so we might want to choose the font um, to do that now I will choose um, impact I think because that uh, that's often the most compelling of this we may also wish to change the the, the color of that font to, to give it more oomph um, how about we did this so that gives it some sort of emphasis doesn't it uh, and then of course you want to insert uh, having inserted your compelling headline you will want to insert your call to action so that is simply repeating the process so we insert text box we draw the text box where we want it and again having typed it in we'll center it resize it and again we'll change the font to impact and so there we have your text now tests have shown that banners with pictures of people draw far more response uh, than those without so you may wish to put in a picture of, of yourself in the banner or as I'm about to do here use a picture I've bought uh, from one of the many online brokers simply click insert picture insert picture and I've got one here that I prepared so I shall double click on that and you'll see it places that image there and then drag it and drop it to where we want it and then grabbing the corner we can stretch it out to the size we wish as well okay now it's important that you drag the corner rather than the top and bottom or side because what that will do is as you can see here it distorts the image by dragging the corner you can make it larger and smaller but it maintains the the proportions of the image you probably noticed that when the image was in front of this text do you see the background is uh, actually transparent 
um, I will make a, another video showing you how to create that uh, effect so so do watch out for that I'll, I'll bring that out fairly soon so we, we've got our text in our image uh, what about a button for your potential customers to click well in PowerPoint it's easy enough to create our own we simply go back to the shapes menu so that was in insert shapes and select the shape we wish our button to be. I'm going to click this rounded rectangle and then we click and drag until the the button is the size we want it to be and in the in the area we want it to be. Now it looks a little bit dull at that so what I'm going to do is just change the look of it I do that by going to the format menu and again there are any number of ways that you can do this here as well you can click this shape effects button and go through all sorts of 3D rotations or what have you or PowerPoint very kindly provide different options ready made I'm gonna just select this one here and I'm gonna change the color to red so now we've got the button we want it to actually declare itself as a button so, so that it's telling people what to do and we do that again by heading over to the insert menu uh, the insert tab clicking now we can either here click text box and put in ordinary text or we can click word art if we want something a little bit fancier and I'm going to select this font here and we can just simply you can see it's appeared just here I'm going to drag it over in, in situ um, and obviously we won't keep it keep it in red but I'm going to type in click here and we'll turn that to black so it's still in keeping with the black and red theme of this uh, this page now we can also make that rather large I, I would suggest so it stands out so I'm going to drag the box out here to the edges so that will retain it being centered and then we just highlight the text let's see how large we can get it so we just need to move it up a little bit so we now have a finished simple banner uh, and we should first save it as a PowerPoint presentation uh, that will allow us to go back uh, and edit it if we change our minds about any elements. So I'll just quickly do that. Uh, having done that, we can save it as an image and we can do that as a GIF, a .gif or a .png or a jpeg, a .jpg file. Uh, if file size is an image, use jpeg because that compresses it a, a, a lot more. Uh, but for now, I'll use gif. So we simply say file save as, and we can call it the same name, but here you'll see there's a drop down menu here, and there's the gif graphics interchange format, and I'll save that as an image as well. Now it will ask you if you want that to be the current slide only or every slide in this presentation. Well there is only one but I'd still choose current slide only. Okay so we've now got the images we want it but of course it still measures in centimeters which is too large for our requirements. We need this in, in, in pixels. So to do that it's simple enough. Uh, we simply open the GIF file we've just created but we open it with Microsoft Office and here what we can then do is click on picture resize and then if you recall this this needs to be 728 by 90 in pixels and you can see here by um, having it in uh, centimeters it's, it's actually created a much larger file than we need so 728 by 90 and then file save as and I, I keep the same name I just simply stick resize on the end so I know which one we're dealing with and we'll click save 
and that's it we've got it in at the right size um, so we now have our banner uh, in a later video I'll show you how to, uh, to use some free software to create a, a rotating banner like this one you'll see that this once it starts changes and it would of course as, it, as the name suggests rotate um, and every two seconds it, it flips over. Now if this has been helpful please feel free to share it and by all means do leave a comment in the box below. This is Ivan and I'll see you soon.